Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamika. This is Library of Tomes where I talk to you about all the bookish things going on in my life. Hi, welcome back. I hope you're doing great. Today we are doing a fun video because Izzy did a video <laughs> recently where she talked about the books that TikTok have made her want to read and I have like five books that I want to read because of TikTok so I want to talk about them. If you all didn't know, which I would be shocked if you didn't know this, Dean Winchester, Dean Winchester is my favorite character in the whole world and I've had like six people tag me and send me this video of this author's book release that is literally Dean Winchester. She literally wrote a Dean Winchester like character and put him in a book so I gotta read that. The book is called Nightfall. I know nothing else about it other than the fact that it is a character based off of Dean Winchester. This book is either going to be a five star or a one star. I told Megan this. She doesn't agree. She doesn't think it's going to be a five star. She thinks that unless it is like a supernatural fan fiction that I would have wrote myself, I'm not going to love it, which she's probably not wrong. But the reason I said this is either going to be a five star or a one star is because I mean, this is either going to be my favorite book ever ever published and it's going to be like the best thing I've ever had in my entire life or I'm gonna hate it because I'm not gonna like the way the author did the characters um like specifically the Dean character like let's be real it, you could put any other of the supernatural characters in there as long as you don't mess up Dean and Cass I'm good Megan told me that she said as long as they don't mess up Dean and Cass you're good and I'm like you know what you're not wrong I'm predictable I love my Winchesters but you mess up Dean and you can't be redeemed <laughs> so I'm really excited to get to this one. I am planning on reading this for a vlog. We'll see when you all see that. We'll see what happens. But I really want to read it. I really want to know if this author pulls off a Dean Winchester character. I'm nervous about it. Like I saw it and I was like, me, give it. Please, thank you. Give it here. Put it in my hands right here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but now that I've like kind of like sat on it, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. I don't know if I'm going to love it. Or if I'm gonna hate it and I'm really really worried I'm gonna hate it. So the next one is another character I absolutely absolutely love. So this one is Zodiac Academy and this one was pitched to me as if you love Draco Malfoy read this book. It's like the adult version of Draco Malfoy and like I don't know if y'all know this or not but I love Draco Malfoy almost as much as I love Dean Winchester. I we don't support She Shall Shall Not Be Named. Um I don't do anything with the Harry Potter anymore because you know JK Rowling's a turf but I love Draco Malfoy and um that character has like a very special special place in my heart not just because he's Tom Felton and he's beautiful but also because um I just love Draco Malfoy's character I feel like he was he was just an obnoxious little shit and I loved him and I love the idea of getting to see like a version of him that gets a happily ever after and like getting it in real time. I really love that concept. So I would love to see a Draco Malfoy like character get a happily ever after. So you tell me that the character is similar to that and then I'm interested. So here we have the same issue though of I'm either going to love this or hate this. This one I could definitely see myself being more middle of the road with whereas like with the Dean one I'm just like you know, I'm either gonna love it or hate it like there's not gonna be much of a middle of the road but like with this one <laughs> I'm really positive it would very easily be middle of the road because like I love Draco you could mess him up more than you could mess up Dean and I would give you grace with it you know. Then we have the infamous Den of Vipers which I did start I did start Den of Vipers uh, I was gonna read it for a reading vlog and then I uh, Let's just be honest, my life got flipped, turned upside down. Um, and I have just not gotten back to my Kindle in the last two weeks. Um, it's just been a crazy last two weeks, just being completely honest with you. Um, and I just have not got back to it. This one is a reverse harem. This one is so popular. Everyone loves this book and it talks about it all the time on TikTok. So I'm excited to see where I fall with it and how I feel. Um, I can already see myself liking the absolute sociopath one because he is just like the most interesting to me. I have a trend. Can you tell? I have a very specific type in romance books. So then we have The Dare by Harley Lerow, which I 
freaking love this author. She wrote Her Soul to Take, which I love. One of my favorite books of the year. I absolutely love that book. But The Dare is actually banned from Amazon. And this is like super dark, super kinky, super everything. Like there's knife play, gun play. Like there's all kinds of stuff in here. And like this is supposed to be so, so dark. And I also think a new adult romance. So like I think they're like very young, like 18. I think like very, very new adult category. But I cannot wait to read this because I also think it's a bully romance. So we'll see. I'm very excited to read it. And lastly, this one I'm going to add just because it's A Lady of Rook's Grave Manor, which is a reverse harem that got removed because it was too spicy. So Amazon thought it was too spicy and they removed it because it kept getting reported. But it is back up now. So this is a reverse harem. And I really want to say there's monster fucking in here, but I could be wrong. But I'm really sure that this is the monster fucking book that Izzy told me about. But I'm, I could be wrong. This might just be reverse harem. But we'll see. I don't know anything else about it, but it sounds delightful. So those are all the books that I want to read because of TikTok. My battery is dying, so I'm going to cut this short and I will chat with y'all in my next video. If you are still here, leave me any kind of animal emoji you want down in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone.